Um, another uh, another problem, another sample um, problem on shearing deformation applied on steel tube. So we have here, uh, this is a steel tube, a 2 inch uh, steel tube which is uh, bounded here by two rigid walls. So meaning if you have rigid walls, meaning um, this won't move no, on both sides, therefore you won't have deformation. This is X and Y you will have no deformation along the x direction because of the presence of the rigid walls so the thickness is uh, 0 0.05 we have the Poisson's ratio for the material which is 0.3 now we are asked to find the tangential stress or the stress along the x direction so again this is tangential stress this one is the longitudinal stress so we use the solution if you recall your um, thin walled pressure vessels, um, the equation for tangential, or in, in this case, you have the stress x just equal to PD over 2T. No? Then we have the internal pressure, the diameter, and the thickness. But since uh, we don't have data no? on the internal pressure, we cannot make use of this um, equation. Um, for this problem, we're only given with the uh, compressive force, which is uh, 3140 pounds. Therefore, the, because of this uh, compressive force, we can have, um, we can compute for your longitudinal stress or stress y. The stress y equals uh, longitudinal stress. And Another equation that relates your stress X and stress Y is actually your strain. Strain X or strain Y. So, for example, we have um, strain X equals 1 over E times your stress X minus V stress Y. It's parenthesis. Why are we using this instead of the stress Y, for example? Because we know that stress X, because of the presence of the rigid wall, strain X, no, not strain actually, no, not stress. We're using strain X here because we know that uh, because of the presence of the rigid wall, strain along the X direction equals zero. Therefore, we only have two unknowns here. The stress x and the stress y uh, yes stress x and stress y where stress y can be computed based on your given compressive force so stress y here is a compressive um, stress caused by your p equals 3140 pounds just p over a which is equal to 3140 pounds divided by the area here the stressed area is this one the diameter times your thickness so the colored um, portion here that's your area carrying your compressive stress so that's uh, pi times your it's, that's uh, circumference times your thickness so you have pi d times thickness pi times diameter which is 2 inches we have the thickness which is uh, 0 0.05 inches you have stress y equals it's uh, 3140 divided by pi times 2 times 0 0.05 you will have 9994 9994.93 psi that's your stress y and then you have calculating for stress x where strain x equals 0 so this is uh, 0 we cancel, we cancel out you have the stress x is equal to v stress y which is equal to 0 0.3 times 9994.93 PSI stress x is equal to times 0 0.3 we have 2998 
48 psi or you can also um, um, express this in terms of ksi divided by 1000 that's 2.9 or roughly that's 3 ksi 